The member from Goodhue, Representative Haley. Representative Jong, that's a hard act to follow. Uh, it's been an honor for me to serve House District 21A in the community of Red Wing where I was born and raised. Um, I have tremendous gratitude for the people who placed me here and all the trust and confidence that they give when they mark that uh, ballot. The Mississippi River Valley and the communities around it are a beautiful part of our state and I, I hope that all of you come visit me. I'd love to host you for a coffee or a glass of wine or a lunch. Red Wing, Lake City, Wabasha, Good U Cannon Falls. Uh, these are communities that hold the values of faith and family and hard work and just helping their neighbors. And I hope that I have upheld those values for them here in this chamber. I came here six years ago with a pretty simple goal, to be a servant leader. And to me, that is, translates doing good work for good people and with good people. I hope that through my work here, I've helped secure the economic vitality of these small rural communities that I serve by working on riverfront development and improving our ports, uh, by supporting places like the National Eagle Center and re renovations to the historic Sheldon Theater. I hope that my work to keep quality health care close to home will ensure that our heirs and our community can continue to raise their families in rural Minnesota. I particularly loved working on legislation to support students and our future workforce. And I have a passion for business, both large and small, and particularly the manufacturing community that makes up my part of the state. I could have never have guessed that we would be navigating a pandemic these past two years. But I hope that I was an effective champion for them as we worked our way through that. Uh, being a legislator, one part that a lot of people outside of this place don't see is the work that we all do for our constituents. And I just have gratitude for all of those good people who reached out to my office and shared their stories. Sometimes small things, sometimes major, major things in their lives. And they were reaching out to say, can you help? Can you just help government work better for me and my family? I just want to just publicly say thank you to all of them, and I won't forget their stories. And finally, I've been privileged to do good work with good people. I cannot say enough. About all of you. All of you. You are amazing, and you show up here every single day with the commitment to do the right thing for this state. And I honor each and every one of you for that. In particular, I have to call out my LA. I know there's lots of people to thank. But uh, Doreen Kynes, when I'd be in my district, people would say to me, Barb, you really got the A team. And then they'd say, isn't Doreen here? I'm like, well, what about me? <laughs> they wanted Doreen. She is a force, so talented. And I have been blessed by all of her skills and her friendship. And finally, I want to thank my husband, Tim, and my children, Joey and Maria. Maria is in the chamber today. <laughs> we all know that it takes a lot from our families for us to do this work. I want to leave you with one last thought. I had the opportunity on Saturday to, um, during our recess, to go to the commissioning ceremony for the USS Minneapolis-St. Paul. This was the first time that a naval ship had been commissioned in our state. And I did not know that each naval ship uh, has a motto that their crew uh, decides on. And this was on Saturday, and Saturday was the day that I announced my retirement from these chambers, and I thought it was pretty apropos. Their motto was, is, we will either find a way or make one. And when they commissioned that ship, all of those hundred naval officers stood in front of the ship and the commanding officer said, we will either find a way, and they all shouted out, or make one. So I encourage all of you not to give up on finding a way to make our communities better and our state better. And even when those ways and those paths before you get very difficult. Have the tenacity and the courage to make one. Thank you. Thank you for how you've blessed my life and carry on.